Hi, my horror fans. How are we doing today? If you're just stumbling in here, I am Reanimate Her. I'm known as the Queen of Scream. And you stumbled right on into the mortuary where we have tons of fun things to show you. Today, I have a brand new review for you. Guarantee one of the most brutal slashers you have never seen. Mm-hmm. That I do. So I have the film Headless. Yes, Headless. This was released in 2015 in the United States. It is directed by Arthur Cullifer, uh, based on characters written by Todd Rigney and co-writer Nathan Ertl. Uh, this is an extremely violent and gory throwback slasher that is definitely worthy of your time. If you know me, you know I'm a gore whore. I wear that label loud and proud. What is a gore whore? A gore whore is someone who just loves gore. Blood, guts, and ass. The more, the merrier. Well, for me, that's my opinion. One of my favorite genres uh, in horror subgenre would be um, disgusting and gore, shocking and gore. Uh, I, I love films like that. I love all horror, but I really enjoy seeing blood, guts, and ass everywhere. Mm. Anyways, let's get back to Headless. Uh, Headless is, is, is awesome. I first got wind of Headless when we were watching uh, Found in 2012. Uh, again, Headless is a film, a fictional film within a film. We were watching this movie Found from 2012. Another uh, another uh, story written by Todd Rigney. And there's a review coming on that one. Oh, my God. It's a great film as well. Anyways, let's get back to Headless. Uh, when you're watching Found, there is a scene where the kids are watching a movie. On the television that they're watching is this film. Uh, I was watching Found, and when I seen that, I'm like, I got to find that. I got to see if that's an actual movie. And I did. I did some uh, deep diving on Google and I found Headless. I also found the Headless, the uncensored, uncensored director's cut, which I got in my creepy claws right now. I am going to watch this again. It is definitely worthy of your time. Now, this is a non-spoiler review, so I'm not going to go into detail. You're not going to see clips uh, from the movie because I don't want to spoil anything. I do have two pictures for you, which are the covers of the DVD and the cover of the movie. A little bit about this here. This film is definitely has the late 70s slasher vibe to it. It's even Grindhouse vibe to it. it. Actually, when I first seen it, that's the first thing I thought is it's a Grindhouse film. Uh, if you like extreme violence, I mean gratuitous violence and gore, beheadings, obviously headless, uh, I think you'll enjoy this one. Uh, the gore whore in me was super satisfied while watching this film. This is not for the squeamish. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not a movie for somebody who gets upset over silly things. Or uh, This is definitely not a film for anybody who cannot handle the headings and lots of blood. Hands down. I do know some people who get super squeamish. This film is not for you. Don't even attempt it because you're going, it's going to ruin your fucking year. Uh, what I really enjoyed about this film, the acting was good. Believe it or not, it, it, was, it was great acting. It was an indie game. I believe the last time I read on this, the budget was about $27,000, which is really good uh, for an indie film. I mean, that's a, that's a, nice, that's a nice budget. Uh, the practical effects were phenomenal. I love the practical effects. Uh, the acting was good. The suspense, the music, the the killings, all great. That no issue from me on that. However, uh, something the tiny little thing that does bother me uh, is that there was repetitive uh, stuff with the killer. Uh, don't get me wrong; it's not a horrible thing. It doesn't ruin the movie. I would just agree with some people who did a review on this that they stated uh, some of the things that were happening in the film was a little too repetitive. And I, I did see that and I do agree with that. Now, I didn't read a review until after I watched the movie because I usually don't watch or read reviews. They have spoilers in them and I don't want to know nothing about a film. So there is this one one little thing in there that's repetitive. But other than that, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. Like completely, if you haven't seen this one, I know you haven't, you definitely need to check this out. Uh, if you are looking to buy the DVD, I can show you where to buy it. It'll be down in the links. 
Uh, if you haven't already done so, make sure you slash that subscribe button, stab that like button. Let me know down below. Have you seen Headless? Have you seen Found from 2012? If so, what did you think of the films? I would love to hear your thoughts on the film itself. Uh, again, you know mine. It's a not, This is a 9 out of 10. This is, this is a must-have for any and every gore whore that is out there. Uh, I really love doing uh, reviews, especially for indie, game, indie movies and games. If you are a game maker or an independent film uh, maker and you want me to do a review on your film, please get in touch with me. All of my information is down below in the description. Uh, also, if you go over to the tabs on YouTube here, you can check it out. Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for all the support that you do. My Patreon sponsors, a huge shout out to you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I do here. So thank you so very much. You all know who you are. And until next time, my darlings, stay creepy. And I will slash us all later. Bye-bye.